Welcome to Unity Tips and Tricks. In this video series, we're going to explore some ways that we can customize the inspector window in Unity. For instance, um, C Sharp properties are not exposed by default, so using a custom inspector we can do that. Or we can make a variable read only and enforce that. Or for double precision floating point values, we could make sure that they don't get truncated down to a single precision float value in case we want that extra precision. But this first video, we're just going to cover the basic setup that you need before we can actually implement all that cool stuff. First, let's take a look at how Unity displays script information in the inspector. Here's our script, Dude Suite, which is composed of a bunch of built in types that are public. So if you want to see how this looks, I've applied it here to the main camera and you can see that Unity's taken the liberty of capitalizing the first letter and putting a space in between, making it nice and readable. Also all the names are nicely lined up here in the left column and the values are right here in the middle. Uh, also vector types have this rollout where we can see all its individual components stacked underneath. So let's suppose we want to display the information in here differently. In order to do that, we're going to have to make an editor script. And in order to make an editor script, we have to put it in a special folder named editor. This is because Unity separates the editor code from the runtime code. Once we have our folder there, we'll go ahead and make the new script. And we'll call it Dude Sweet Inspector. OK, so let's set up the script for the editor. Now the first thing we want to do is get rid of mono behavior because this guy is inheriting from editor. Uh, in order for C Sharp to know about editor, we need to use the uh, C Sharp directive using Unity editor. And we don't need start or update, so we'll get rid of those. But we do need to override the function responsible for drawing the inspector window. So that one is going to be public override void on inspector gadget uh, on inspector GUI and we're just about there um, at this point we haven't actually told this class uh, which script type it's responsible for yet and to do that we use a unity attribute which is called custom editor and now we just have to give it the type of script uh, class that we want to override the inspector for. So we'll say type of and dude suite. That'll tell it the type it's responsible for. So we'll save this and take a look. Okay, so now nothing is here because um, we're overriding all the functionality and haven't written any code for that. So to restore that back to its original form, we'll just make a call down to the base class. We'll say base dot on ins no on inspector GUI and that should go back to the default behavior. And here it is. Although you'll note it's not formatted in quite the same way, but stay tuned for a further video and we'll fix that. 